Hi Steve, very significant announcement. This is Microsoft leaning into a new area of growth and a significant wave of transformation that is happening across this region. Here to help us understand the business case behind these two new data centers in Dubai and Abu Dhabi is Sama Abu Latif. He's the president of Middle East and Africa at Microsoft. Joining me right now on Scorebox. Summer, welcome into the conversation. Thanks Thank for being you. here. Uh, how significant is this for Microsoft? And help me understand the business case behind the launch of these new centers. Well, uh, thank you very much. This is uh, another great day for Microsoft and our customers uh, in Middle East and Africa. We're bringing the services uh, of our cloud computing into the Middle East out of United Arab Emirates. At the time, uh, we have evidence that this is going to create uh, around 570,000 jobs across Middle East and Africa, considering the IDC report. And it is very likely uh, that this investment is going to accelerate the digital transformation of our customers' businesses. It meets very well the aspirations of the governments around the region for data residency. It will help us as well building the momentum that is needed for the region to really realize its potential through uh, digital transformation and digitization in general. Uh, from an economic value, uh, also the IDC report is stating uh, that for uh, this investment, it's going to create, uh, for every dollar that's invested around our, our technology, there will be another $10 in the ecosystem. And with that comes employability, uh, comes opportunities for our customers to disrupt themselves. At the time, technology is really the core of what's happening uh, in, in the region. And Salma, this is certainly a tough region to be operating in because what we hear now from firms like Dark Matter based here in the UAE is that cyber security risks are increasing. And what we see now is the increased prominence and frequency of cyber attacks into this part of the world sponsored by state actors. Are there any contingencies that you're putting in place specifically for this region to protect client and customer data? Look, we've been investing a lot in, uh, in helping the governments understand the scope uh, of security. And obviously, this is a top of mind for all the chief information officers across the region. There is uh, a, um, a level of uh, acceptance today and even uh, improved perception that cloud computing is an enabler of improved security. Uh, gone are the days when organizations across all industries will be able to secure themselves within the vicinity of their own network or by leveraging endpoint solutions. They're realizing that there is power in the cloud with artificial intelligence and with the investments that we make, for example, as Microsoft, $1 billion a year investments with over 3,500 3, uh, cybersecurity IT professionals that are enabling our customers to prevent these cyber security attacks be better equipped with the technology for them to defend against it. So there is this dialogue on policy and on the understanding of the scope of security and on the investments that we are able to make on their behalf for them to leverage. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.